good morning to all i am geeta assistant professor from ece department rogini college of engineering and technology i am going to handle the subject on communication engineering so here i am going to discuss about the topic on differential phase shift keying so on completion differential phase shift keying the students will be able to define differential phase shift keying draw the block diagram of dpsk receiver so first what is meant by differential phase shift keying the differential phase shift keying is alternative form of digital modulation where the binary input information this will be contain the difference between two successive signaling elements rarer than the absolute phase dpsk is not necessary to recover the phase covariant carrier the received signaling element is delayed by one signaling element so this will be compared with the next received signaling elements so difference in the phase of the two signaling element this will be mainly determine the logic condition of the output data so this is the block diagram for the dpsk modulator so in this block diagram we are having the digital input data this will be connected to the xor gate then one bit delay this will be connected to the balanced modulator then here we are giving the sign omega ct as the signal then finally we will get the bpsk output signal so what process will be carry out in that dbsk transmitter means an incoming information bit is xor with the proceeding bit error this will be prior to entering the bbsk modulator for the first data bit there is no proceeding bit therefore an initial reference bit is assumed so the initial reference bit we have to assume as zero so if the initial reference bit is logic 1 the output is simply the complement of above the first data bit is xor with a reference bit if they are the same the xor output is a logic 1 if they are different the xor output is a logic 0 the balanced modulator this will be operate as same as the conventional bbsk modulation so the logic 1 this will be produces the plus sin omega ct for logic 0 this will be produces the minus sin omega ct at the output so next we are going to see the dbsk d modulator so this is the d modulator block that is d bbsk input this will be given to the balanced modulator and the one bit delay this will be connected to the balanced modulator finally we will get the received data at the output so in this block diagram the timing sequence for the differential binary phase shift keying receiver the received signal is delayed by one bit time then this will be compared with the next signaling element in the balanced modulator so if you are having the same input that is logic 1 that is plus v voltage is generated if they are different so the logic is zero that is negative voltage is generated so if the reference phase is incorrectly assumed only the first demodulator bit is in error so here we are having some advantages and disadvantages of differential phase shift keying so compared uh, coming to the advantages so it is implementation is very simple then no carrier recovery or clock recovery circuits are required for the differential phase shift keying when compared to the binary phase shift keying so main disadvantage is the probability of error is high when compared to the differential phase shift keying mainly this will be requires between 1 dp and the 3 dp signal to noise ratio to achieve the same bit error rate as that of absolute binary phase shift keying so the quiz question is based on the differential phase shift keying is in dbsk technique the technique is used to encode the bit is dash thank you